Oh boy. I just left the dentist. At least, at least they're working with me. You know. If you're in a position to take care of your teeth, take care of your teeth because they are expensive. Um, I went to the dentist because I now have um, insurance through my work as well as my wife's insurance. So that's like a double coverage. Um, but what I found out when I was looking up, you know, dental coverage and stuff, basically they pay part of it, but you got to come up with the rest. And um, I know my teeth were bad. It's been bad since my divorce and, you know, the whole situation with being homeless and paying child support and everything else. Um, essentially, my health and my teeth specifically went down the tubes. I used to have pretty good teeth before. But anyhow, um, this is what happens when you let your mouth go. And I knew it was bad, but um, the dentist, of course, they, they took, like, um, all sorts of x-rays. What's really cool is the machines they use now, is, it's almost like Buck Rogers. <laughs> they don't even use, they don't even use photographic x-rays anymore. They use like a scanner machine and it says like, sensor ready or something like that. I don't know, it's some female voice. I, I felt like I was in Buck Rogers or something. It has this like cannon like thing, this little tiny thing on a swivel arm that they, they have you bite down on the sensor. And then it, I guess it does the x-ray and it images right on the sensor so you get the results like right away. So that was kind of cool. But they didn't just take like, you know, in the past when I had dental work done, they took a, they had you bite down on that thing and they x-rayed all your teeth at once. They don't do that anymore. Um, at least not at this dentist's office. They have that cannon that specifically they have you bite down on the sensor thingy. And then it uh, takes... What the heck? <laughs> Anyhow, um, what happens, sorry about that, I had a call come in in the middle of my broadcast, just declined it, but uh, what happens is they take a, each individual picture of each tooth and it's like really detailed, it's like a, you know, a scanner right at the teeth and they try to get it at the root and they can retake it until they get it right. So uh, basically, I'm, I'm getting some kind of text popping up here, but let me look here. Left lane. Um, I need to use the right lane, but the right lane is closed. We, they got all sorts of crazy construction going on. I'm trying to get on the road here. I don't know if there's like. You'll have to excuse me being quiet right now because I'm, I'm on this like bridge and it's crazy. This construction and I got to get onto the ramp for the road to head back. I don't want to miss it. So let me see here if I can get on the correct road and then I can talk again. All right, I think I see it. It was a reroute and it was like, it's crazy. The, the traffic's crazy. But anyhow, they took individual pictures. I mean, I must have had like about 12 or 15 pictures taken because I had to redo some of them. But they take the bottom, so roll from the bottom left, rear, right, bottom, upper bottom, upper front, and I don't know, there was like a whole bunch of it. So they do one at a time and they take each picture, you know, that tooth or, or the set of teeth in that section. They do it by section so they can track everything. And of course, my teeth are all messed up. Uh, long story short, I'm missing a lot of teeth and some of my teeth are broken in the back. When they had me jailed, when they had me locked up, my teeth cracked. Yeah, in jail. And, you know, obviously anyone who's ever had a busted teeth where it's cracked, like, the molar, you know, the molar is really like almost like four teeth put together. They come together. It cracked, and um, I remember being in jail, and I was in such pain, and they didn't have a dentist handy, so I pulled my own teeth out with my bare hands, all locked up in jail. Talk about pain. If you if you ever watched Tom Hanks when he got lost, and he took that roller blade, I mean the um, the um, skate blade. And he whacked his teeth out. That's what it was like. I was hurting so badly. I stuck my hand in there and I like basically kept twisting at it until it broke. And it only took out part of the teeth. Like half of the teeth came out. The other half is still in there. So my mouth's all messed up like that. In addition to the messed up front teeth and everything else. 
So they determine that obviously I have um, all sorts of problems like gum disease and all sorts of issues. And you know, before they can do anything, they got to clean it. So they got to give me a really thorough cleaning uh, because you can't really work on your teeth, you know, until it's actually teeth. Because <laughs> I have so much plaque and other crap built up, and I've lost a lot of gum, you know. And he's like, your teeth might all fall out because of the, the gum disease. And I said, look. My age and how old my family live, um, you know, I don't really want to spend too much money. I just need it good enough. I don't need, because he was telling me, well, several teeth, I had about three or four out of the seven that would have been salvageable. They could save them. They could save that teeth, but you have to be root canal and then all that stuff and put a crown on it and some other weird stuff. So, but then he said the cost for each teeth doing that runs between $1,500 to $2,000 per tooth. So, you know, let's say I had three or four that was salvageable. That would have been like between five to seven thousand dollars. Just to, that's just to fix those teeth. And then I still have the gap and the other issues. I would still be missing teeth. So it'd be seven thousand dollars at least just to fix three, three teeth. And then he said, you know, the, the other option is extraction where they just pull them out. You just write it as a loss. Even though the teeth are still not bad, bad, you know, but they're, they're going to be bad. Um, you normally, you have to go do root canal and other stuff to fix them, to, to salvage them, to save them. But, you know, knowing my situation, I told him, I was like, look, you know, my situation is I'm working part time. Um, and this may be, this is, I don't know how long this is going to last because I'm trying to get to Thailand. <laughs> so what can we do that's good enough? I want to fix my smile so I can smile again so that maybe I could do a job. You know, if I get a job, your, your looks are very important, believe it or not. It can determine, you know, if somebody wants to work with you. I mean, potentially I can get back into photography, but if I go to a photographer with a missing tooth, that's kind of bad. But if I get my teeth back, maybe I can do that again, you know, if I need additional income. Even teaching is an issue. You know, trying to teach with a missing tooth. With two missing teeth. Well, it's a messed up mouth. Long story short, okay, they gave me a quote um, of extracting seven teeth, I think three from the upper and four from the lower, and um, the cheapest route, he said, was to extract the teeth and do a partial denture. So what they would do is make a denture customized, you know, to fit the, uh, the missing teeth that they would pull. And they would pull them out because they're teeth that may that either have a problem right now or are partially broken or will have a problem in the future. So they're trying to, you know, be proactive also. Because, you know, dentists, are, they want to take care of you, you know, your mouth. They don't want to do something and then a couple years later you got issues again. So if they see a problem, they try to fix it, you know. But, of course, they're also, they also know the financial issues. Not everyone can afford you know, to pay for everything for dental. That's why a lot of people have bad teeth. Can't afford it, it's expensive. So, um, they came in with a quote and they said, and now mind you, this is at my cost, out of pocket costs. So they said the cost for me would be to do the um, cleaning and the seven tooth extraction and then the implants would be uh, nearly $7,000. <laughs> and I, and he said, and he knew that that was going to be too high for me. It was $7,000, and I looked at him and I said, um, is there anything else we can do? Because obviously I can't afford $7,000. I'm only working as a, a part-time as a janitor. So he said, well, what we could do is we can handle the top portion, you know, just the top part, and leave the bottom as is or, or fix it later when I get more money. You know, but I, I would probably just leave it as is. My my big thing is to be able to smile again, you know, and, and and not look like this. Thank goodness for COVID mask. Okay, but um, so then they said we're gonna get you a quote for just the upper portion, and that to me is uh, the critical part because that's where the missing teeth is. So if they just do the the upper portion, the price cuts in half. So looking at about three thousand dollars now and instead of pulling out um seven tooth seven teeth they would only pull out three so they, they were only going to pull out three teeth i think 
like these two front ones and the, the one of the back ones, I guess they're saying is bad. My boot cut is broken. But um, basically, doing half of it would cost me half the price. So we're looking at a little bit under $3,000 now. And that was with a quote with only my insurance. So they got to get my wife, you know, they, they're trying to hear back from them. So that'll knock it down even more. So I'm optimistic that they can do it for under $2,000. But that won't be my whole mouth. That'll just be the upper portion. And then the bottom portion, I may just leave as is because it's not too bad. I mean, they say the teeth have issues, but they're not like, uh, they're not hurting me or anything and they're functional. You know, even though like some of the back molars are all cracked and broken. But I can, I can eat, like right now I don't have any pain or anything. I eat just fine. You've seen me eat, you know. <laughs> I eat a lot of meat, a lot of um, stuff. So this would allow me to at least have a smile when I open my mouth, you know, and um, not look like I'm missing teeth, which would ultimately potentially help me, you know, um, financially as far as getting better jobs or, or things like that. But I'm not really looking for a better job per se right now, but um, doing stuff like my photography where I might get back into uh, photography and stuff for a living again, you know, for extra income. That way when I meet a client, I can smile, you know, and not, I mean, like right now I could do it with a COVID mask. <laughs> That's the, the one bonus of this is that it hides all this. This is like a, what a, a $1, uh, dental fix, right? Just keep wearing the mask even long after COVID's uh, resolved. You're like, why Why are you wearing your mask all the time? Um, I'm just taking precautions against uh, the COVID variants. <laughs> so they wanted to do it today, but I told them, you know, until they get the insurance when my wife straightened through, because every dollar, every penny counts, I'm going to wait for them to get the confirmation from my wife's insurance and that should knock the cleaning. Just cleaning was like $400, $406 just to clean your teeth. $406. So um, I'm hoping that with my wife's insurance on that, it'll knock it down lower than $406. And then, the, then, you know, then after that, they'll schedule the extractions. And I think handling three three tooth extractions is going to be a lot better than handling seven. Because seven would mean uh, I don't even know how I could eat. <laughs> and then once they, you know, once they extract, apparently um, you can't just, I mean, they could put a temporary um, flipper on there, but, you know, that's just adding more expenses. So I said, look, with, as long as the COVID situation going on, I'll keep my mask on. So it doesn't matter that I'm missing a whole bunch of teeth up front. So what they do is they basically knock out the teeth that are having issues and whatnot, and they'll make me a um, partial denture, which covers the missing gap. So it's going to be a while. This isn't like a quick process. So I got to go in for cleaning. Then I got to schedule for the extractions. And probably, I don't know if they're going to pull all three in one day. They might. I've heard of people pulling all, all their teeth out, you know, because it's so bad. But um, basically, they'll pull out the three, and then I guess I'll have to heal over a couple months. Because it gives your, your gum and stuff, you know, the, the chance to heal and line up and become how it's going to become. And then they'll make the imprint for my um, partial denture, and I'll just fix the upper portion. Because when I smile, see, it's... Right? If I smile and this is filled in, I'll, I'll get my smile back, which is, you know, it's a big thing. The, those people who have um, good teeth, consider yourself very blessed and take good care of that teeth. But understand that if you're 40, 50, 60, <laughs> there's a high probability that, that you know what I'm talking about. You know, um, statistically, most people in that age bracket start having issues where they have to have teeth pulled. Um, and I, I guess it's God's way of saying uh, you, you, you've been alive too long. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I found a dentist that's willing to work with me. Um, you know, they said uh, somebody had suggested that some kind of payment plan where somebody posted it on my previous video. You get like funding, you know, well, basically they finance you and then you make payments. But I don't really want that option because one, my credit 
they'll do a credit check again, and then my credit will be ruined. You know, it will drop even more. So, and then uh, it'll get declined anyways. And even if they did approve it, I don't want a situation where I owe somebody money. You know, um, so I had told you in my other video, I was hoping to have like $2,000 and it looks like I'm going to hit it. So that's $2,000 out of pocket. Okay. Mind you, the actual cost is more than that. Let me look and see what the actual cost is right now. Um, the actual cost, believe it or not, is $5,430. Yeah, the actual cost would be for, for them to do, this is just the upper. This isn't even my whole mouth. Just my upper teeth that, to have the three teeth pulled, the cleaning, and the partial denture is um, $5,430. Um, after insurance, it's $2,585. That's with my insurance, and then um, they haven't run my wife's insurance, so if they run her as secondary, I'm hoping it drops below 2000 which would hit my bracket, because that's how much money I've set aside. Um, you know, that's, that's the maximum I really want to spend to fix my teeth, because as I told the dentist, I'm like, look, I'm 54 years old. My family don't live very long. <laughs> Honestly, when you start having this kind of stuff, you, you start looking at your life, and you're like, how long do you actually have left to live and I know my family they don't live very long you know so I'm looking at I'll be lucky if I get another uh, 10 to 15 years of life and how much do you want to spend I mean if I won the lottery or something you know we'd get implants or something no, no doubt about it I'd get implants that's the way to go but um, it's expensive dealing with teeth and when I had looked at it previously you know, when I was going to get implants, when I was working at the post office and I had some money, I, um, it was going to cost more than $2,800 for one tooth. $2,800. So, you know, this, this thing with, uh, the dentures, dentures apparently are the cheapest way, but sadly it means sacrificing your teeth. You don't, you don't get a chance. I mean, the, you know, the teeth would have been salvageable if I was willing to pay 1500 to 2000 per tooth. But I'm going the cheapest. And, um, you know, that's just because that's all I can afford. And also, honestly, like I say, when, when you start looking, um, more banks have started GoFundMe. You have to fix them. Uh, I'm just going to pay for this and, and, and I've got it covered right now. You know, my, my insurance with my insurance and my wife's insurance and I had been saving some money. It's just going to go out of my retirement fund from Thailand, you know, so I don't know how long I'm stuck in America. I could be here another year, possibly two years. I'm hoping that within a year and a half, I can quit my job. So that, that's one of the reasons is um, I like my job because they're letting me go on a um, year by year basis. You know, like they checked with me to see if I was leaving or not. Um, I am going to go ahead and have the upper done. And then the bottom I may do or may not. I really don't think I'll do it. If, if the upper makes me look nice, you know, I can smile again. I don't think I'll bother with the bottom. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and um, have that done. So I will get an appointment later, like in a month or so, to go have my teeth clean. And then after that, I'll get another one to have the extractions done. And then it'll probably need to heal. And then after that, I'll go get the dentures made. And then, you know, of course, I'll have to install it and all that other stuff. So, it, you know, it's it's roughly probably $2,000, which was my budget that I'd set aside. And um, it'll be nice to have the ability to smile again, you know. So... <laughs> Well, Banks is dashing for dinner white teeth. He's going to try to help. Um, I think I'm okay. Hey, hey, Timothy, I think I'm okay. I have I have set aside some money. It's just going to come out of my... Remember, I was planning on being in Thailand at this time. So I'm actually getting more money than I was counting on. But then I found out Thailand has all sorts of complications. Yeah, it's like... You know, the whole thing with... The, if you've been following trying to move to Thailand, all the expats are frustrated. <laughs> and I'm not an expat, but I was, I'm debating on what to go and how to go. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I might have to go as a Thai citizen because apparently, you know, they, they allow dual citizenship. 
So if I can get them convinced that I am originally Thai and still Thai, they can give me some money. I mean, not give me some money, save me some money by um, allowing me to fly there under a Thai passport. Then I don't have to deal with um, visas and stuff. The problem that occurs, though, is from what I'm reading and hearing from expats, you know, my wife, she's not yet a Thai citizen. And um, uh, I just got some kind of text about work just now. But uh, basically, my wife is not a Thai citizen. And um, they're not going to just let her go with me as a wife. She has to get a spousal visa, which becomes complicated because you have to update that like every year and you have to leave Thailand and go back to your country or whatever. You cannot just stay in Thailand straight. So you got to stay there for that time while the visa is there. Then you got to come back to the United States or, or wherever and get your visa redone and then come back. So I'm looking at it I'm like, this is getting really complicated. Um, I wish they would just let people marry and live, you know, but with, I guess they let you do that if you marry the same country. But, um, if, if you have to, if you have to ha have different countries and stuff, you got international law and rules and visas and regulations. So I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I don't know. Now retiring in Thailand can become complicated. If I go as an American, it'll be really bad because then I have to come back every 90 days or, or half a year or one year or whatever. And then on a retirement visa, you have to show that you have a whole bunch of money in your bank account, like at least twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars $26,000 just sitting there. And you have to show that, you know, basically they don't want you there if you're going to be poor. <laughs> kind of like what the United States is like, too, you know, but um, I think it's like that in every country. They want to make sure that if you go there as a foreigner you're not going to be broke. You know, you're going to have money. You're going to be okay there. So I'm looking at it. If I go as a Thai person, I don't think they have that requirement because I'm just returning to my country. But then bringing my wife, she's a foreigner. And that becomes an issue. So I don't know what's going to happen at this point. You know, I'm, I'm just looking at maybe I'll just retire in the United States and then live part-time in Thailand, like travel to Thailand and stay there on a... Um, tourist visa or whatever for 90 days or six months or a year and then just travel the world or something. I know some of you are saying that's impossible, but I think it's possible if you set your mind to it and try to work out a plan that's workable. And that would mean um, having to retire in the United States, which sort of, I mean, I guess you can retire anywhere, but I would need to have like a home base in the United States that would be considered my regular address where I live, even though I probably won't live there. You know, like it'd be a place, my home residence, but I would travel the United States as well as other countries. And that might be possible. Like, like if you went to Thailand and stayed there on a tourist visa and they let you stay there, you know, like 90 days or something, you would be able to um, go to another country and stay there for a month or two and go back to Thailand on another visa. That's if the, the visa gets approved, because like right now people are having a hard time getting a visa approved. But anyhow, I'm I'm rambling on and on. Just wanted to update you on the teeth. It looks like um I am gonna go ahead and have at least the upper done. And it's gonna run me about two thousand, three thousand dollars out of pocket. <sighs> Should have had all this stuff done while I was in the military. <laughs> Old Gringo says, my brother just had all of his top teeth pulled. He's making monthly payments. Todd says, where's you that? If you do part-time dashing, you can gross uh, 1000 a week. That's pretty good. You guys saw my door dashing experience here in this area. I think you guys must be in areas where um, people have more money, more, more disposable income, or um, they don't know how to cook. <laughs> my area here, it, you know, in Brevard County and stuff, a lot of people don't don't do the door dash. You saw what happened on my thing when I tried door dashing for one, two. I think I did it for one or two days. Um, I sat around. I sat around. See, Los Angeles, San Francisco, California. Those kind of places are, are busy. And Orlando's busy. Miami's busy. You know, so it depends on the city. I think, I think if you have a city with, like, real buildings, you know, and lots of cars and you know, brick-type buildings instead of little tiny rinky-dink, hokey-dunk 
towns, kind of like Brevard, you know, which is uh, the Space Coast. It's kind of weird because um, a lot of people think that we're, we're like high tech and have fancy buildings and stuff. Uh, people still have chickens in their yard, some of these people, and, and horses and cows. <laughs> and and when they go to the courthouse, they wear like jeans and, and t-shirts, you know. Sometimes they wear flip-flops. That's how people dress to go to the courthouse. So, you know, it, it's still like um it, it, it's like Hickey Hickville or whatever you want to call it. So it's not really um even though it's a high tech area, it's weird. Uh Jason says 7k for extraction and implants is actually not bad. Now that's 7k for extractions and um not implants but partials, partial dentures. Implants will run you roughly two thousand dollar tooth. I mean the last I checked it was twenty eight hundred dollars. Because when this first happened, I was gonna have an implant done. It what they're gonna do is they're gonna have to pull this broken tooth. Yeah. That's the one that broke on the pork chop. I, I bit into a pork chop with a bone and cracked my tooth. That's the worst sound ever. You hear it, and it's like your teeth cracks, and you hear it from inside your mouth through to your ears, and you go, and you start crying. <laughs> not because it hurt. You start crying not because it hurts. You start crying because you know, oh, my gosh, I just lost my front tooth as an adult. And, um, oh, by the way, somebody says no more Pepsi. Todd says no more Pepsi. No more soda, actually. I've actually eliminated soda. I do drink soda when I go out sometimes. Like, you know, when I was at the Thai temple, um, I will order uh, Thai tea or so sometimes I'll order soda when I go out, like when you get a burger or something. But honestly, I've only had like two, two, two um, large sodas, you know, um, containers of sodas from Hardee's this weekend. That's in like a month. So I haven't been drinking soda. That's saving some money and probably saving my teeth. Um, just put it out there. If you're in your 30s, if you're in your 20s, and even if you're in your 40s and you still don't have teeth problem, take very good care of your teeth because they are expensive. They really are. Anyhow, I am going to go ahead and sign out because I'm rambling on and on. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. Hopefully you found this uh, video informative and helpful if you're the type that neglects your teeth. Brush, floss your teeth, take good care of them, take good care of your gums, avoid soda. By the way, uh, just so you know what happened with me avoiding soda, not only did I save money, because it was like seven, dollars $7 for um, a 24-pack. I was buying them on sale, you know, like for seven fifty for a 24-pack at Walmart. But I was going through one or two packs a week. So that's 15 that's $30 a month, which doesn't seem like a lot. But that's like over three hundred dollars a year, four hundred dollars, three four hundred dollars a year, and health wise, I think it causes more problems. Since I've gone off the soda, I'm losing weight. I think I'm down probably at about five pounds, and, and I pig out when I eat. So soda, because of all the sugar and stuff, will actually make you fat and keep you fat and gain weight. But when I cut out the soda, um, it's not like I totally don't drink soda. I don't have a problem with buying soda when I'm out. But knowing my health issue when I was drinking soda and I'm ha having to pee every 15, 20, 30 minutes, that's gone away. My pee cycle is somewhat normal. You know, um, I, I think I pee probably about six or ten times a day now, maybe. Normally, I used to pee only about, I'm guessing I used to pee about four, four times a day, four to five times a day. But now I'm like uh, six to ten times, which still is higher than it should be, I think, normal for me. But it may be because I'm still having some soda and sugars and things like that and salty food you know, because I eat a lot of salt. So I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to eat healthier. Staying in the RV where I can treat it like a tiny house is helping because I have um, refrigeration. Although it seems weird, the, the RV refrigerator, it seems like food spoils in there. Unlike a, you know, faster than it would a regular refrigerator. But I do store food in there. I'm able to cook. So I'm eating really well. I'm eating very well. Um, and um, it's good, though. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you're all taking care of yourself. Kira, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Kira just gave me 50 bucks. That was extremely kind of you. You didn't have to do that, honey. You didn't have to do that. But I appreciate it. it it's very kind. That was a very kind thing to do. Um, and, you know, my big thing well, now is just like, 
um, waiting for the appointments to come through, and then hopefully you guys will see me. It won't be it won't be right away, but maybe within six months, I'll be able to smile again. I've been smiling without the teeth because I just wanted to show people that um, uh, basically you don't need to have pretty teeth to smile. <laughs> <laughs> and this is normal so until next time everyone take care god bless you all please stay safe all right y'all take care of yourselves take good care of your teeth okay bye-bye now